Hello, I'm Jack, Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you some troubleshooting that can be done if you are unable to authenticate to your workspace using the Amazon Workspaces client. Let's get started. On the screen, we have a list of common troubleshooting steps. I'll be showcasing some of these steps within this video. Confirm that the directory registration code in the client matches the value associated with the workspace. Verify that the user's active directory user object meets the prerequisites. Confirm that the user object's SAM account name attribute wasn't modified. Verify that the username doesn't contain invalid characters. If you've enabled multi-factor authentication, check the logs on your Radius server. Ensure that involved parties, workspace, domain controllers, and Radius servers do not have a time difference of larger than five minutes. Before we start, I'll assume you already have an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance or a workspace joined to a domain with Active Directory administration tools installed, as some of the troubleshooting will require usage of these tools. If not, make sure to launch an EC2 instance or a workspace and join it to your domain. On the launch machine, run the following command in Windows PowerShell. Install hyphen Windows feature space rsat hyphen ADDS. The first troubleshooting item is to confirm that the directory registration code in the client matches the value associated with the workspace. For the section, if you have cross-region redirection enabled for Amazon Workspaces, use the fully qualified domain name as the registration code instead of the region-based registration codes. See the associated Knowledge Center article for further information. Open the Amazon Workspaces client. From the login window, choose Settings, Manage Login Information. Note the registration code displayed. If you have multiple registration codes, close the pop-up window and choose Change Registration Code. Confirm that the registration code matches the value associated with the workspace in the Amazon Workspaces console or welcome email. To find the registration code from the console, log into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the Workspaces Console. Here, you will see the workspaces in the current region. Choose the dropdown next to the workspace that you are trying to log into. The second troubleshooting item is to verify that the user's Active Directory user object meets the prerequisites. For this section, we'll be using the Active Directory Users and Computers tool. Find the user object, then right click and select Properties. Choose the Account tab, and under Account Options, verify Do Not Require Kerberos Pre Authentication is not ticked. Clear User Must Change Password at Next Login if it is ticked. Open a command prompt and verify that the user's password isn't expired by running net space user space username space forward slash domain. If you're using Simple AD or AWS Directory Service for Microsoft Active Directory, then choose Forgot Password from the Amazon Workspaces client to reset the password. The third troubleshooting item is to confirm that the user object's SAM account name attribute wasn't modified. Amazon Workspaces doesn't support modifications to the username attribute of an Active Directory user. Authentication fails if the username attributes in Amazon Workspaces and Active Directory don't match. If you've changed the SAM account name attribute, you can simply change it back. Then you will be able to log into the workspace successfully. If you must rename a user, follow the steps in the next troubleshooting item. The fourth troubleshooting item is to verify that the username doesn't contain any invalid characters. Some username character restrictions exist for AWS applications, including Amazon Workspaces. To confirm that your username contains valid characters only, see the associated Knowledge Center article for further information. If your Amazon Workspaces username contains characters that are not valid, then follow these steps. Backup files from the user volume to an external location, such as Amazon WorkDocs 
or Amazon FXX. Select the workspace, then Actions, Remove Workspaces, and read through the prompt carefully. Removing a workspace is a permanent action. The workspace user's data doesn't persist and is destroyed. When you have confirmed that everything you need is backed up, click on the Remove Workspaces button. Next, choose the Account tab and rename both User Logon Name and User Logon Name pre Windows 2000. Lastly, launch a new workspace with a new username. The fifth troubleshooting item is if you've enabled multi factor authentication, then check the logs on your Radius server to confirm that the authentication traffic is received and approved. This error can occur if network modifications prevent the Radius solution from communicating with the workspace's subnets or domain controllers. If you're using an AD connector, then your connector endpoints must have outbound access to both your domain controllers and your Radius servers. You can use VPC flow logs to confirm that all necessary traffic is sent to its destination. The sixth and final troubleshooting item is ensure that involved parties Workspace, domain controllers, and radius servers do not have a time difference of larger than five minutes. Authentication is very sensitive to time differences on any involved party. All domain controllers in the domain, the radius servers if used, the workspace instance, and the service itself must be in sync with each other. If MFA is enabled, verify that the clock on all radius servers is in sync with a reliable time source such as pool.ntp.org. If the directory is customer managed, such as AD Connector, every domain controller has to be verified to be in sync with a reliable time source. On the workspace, customers most likely cannot check the time. If there is a suspicion that the time on the workspace could be inaccurate, a reboot will resync it with an atomic clock and a few minutes later, it should resync with a domain controller. To verify against a reliable time source, for Linux, NTP date space minus Q space minus U space pool.ntp.org. And for Windows, w32tm.exe space forward slash strip chart space forward slash computer colon pool.ntp.org. Thus concludes the six common troubleshooting steps you can perform to resolve authentication failures related to username and password for your workspace when using the workspace client. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.